Okay, here's some benchmarks with this big coil here to uh, just to get some readings of voltage and current, different levels, and uh, so I can I'm gonna start pulling the number 19 wire off of there to get it to where I want it. See, so this has a resistor right off the bat here to. Eight volts or so it really drops quite a bit on put this over here if I can do this. Take that off and bring the power down again a bit. Okay, burn it down. Yeah, 76 to 78 volts. That's what 26.4 volts going in. So that's a pretty good benchmark. It's probably around the 100 volt mark when it's done. Take the power lead off now. Still pulling about what, 10 milliamps. Take it off. I don't know, just a gauge where I have it, just because of the camera angle. Put it back on. On. Oh. On. Oh. On. Oh. Interesting. Hundred volts. It's climbing fast again. But I'd like to see this around the uh, 300 volts if I could get it. So I'm going to start pulling some number 19 off. See what happens. Okay, here's the uh, voltage there, the cut bank. So the only thing I've, ever, I've done to this here now is I've taking that much wire off the coil which is probably about four pounds of it there it was almost full this coil it had 9.9 .9 ohms of 19 before now it has 5.4 ohms of 19 on it 
the current, like the, I'll, I'll try to clip that other clip in before this one or after this one with all that wire on it when I was testing it, bench testing it. It was, it's putting, it was putting out the same power going in as what's here now. Uh, just over a hundred volts, I think. I can't remember exactly. Just over a hundred anyway, I think. But now you can see I've doubled the watts out. Voltage has doubled. Same cat bank exactly. There's nothing different with this test setup. Except for there's less wire on that coil now. And you can see what the volts are. Still going up. Same caps. Same capacity in that cap bank. Same battery. This is only like three or four hours later. And I've more than doubled the amount of watts on the way out. Because it charges it at the same rate as it was at just over 100 volts. Like it's going up at the same pace, maybe even faster. Like when it passes the 200 volt mark on this, it was climbing faster than what it was at the 100 volt mark on the last bench test. And you can see it's still climbing, you can see. So if I was to take off maybe another ohm of that 19 gauge, I'd probably be in the 300 volt range. Pretty easily. But I, I, I might do some testing with this first. Probably beef up the circuit with a, another transistor parallel. And put the bigger FR207s and put a couple of them paralleled up like I have with the other circuit. But it's just, like I said before, it's voltage and watts are just a matter of engineering. Doing it right. Because there's nothing that has changed on this circuit except for the engineering. Just pulled less wire off there, like I said. Input is the same. 